Sir Harold. Uh, I'm in the uh, Barony of the Middle Marches in Columbus, Ohio. Um, talking a little bit about talk to the camera. Talking a little bit about the style of shield that I've picked. Uh, this is a 21 inch across uh, Crusader kite. The reason I like to use it is this top corner I can use to protect my head. This bottom corner, when I push the shield into position, can protect my left hip. And it usually sits in about that position. So some of the mechanics that I use are, are based almost entirely on boxing. And did you also talk about boxing? Okay. Yep, that's uh, okay. So the mechanics I use, my stance is a very neutral, balanced, relaxed stance. And I can try and keep my, my hips and my shoulders both square to the opponent. That allows me to keep my sword and my shield both in play equally. So when I go into my fighting stance, I keep my, uh, my basket hilt and my elbow in a straight line pointed at my opponent's face, and my shield comes up into position to protect from an offside headshot and also a wrap to the leg. And I will keep that shield in about that position. If I have an offside headshot come in, it's really, really easy. From the side, you can see it a lot easier to push the corner of that shield across, pick up that offside headshot, and then come back to my neutral position. So from the front, what that looks like for an offside headshot block, small little, small little shift like that. Um, with, with my hand in this very neutral position, it allows me to threaten an offside head, an onside head, wraps to the sword side of an opponent's body and also drop the tip and push for a drop, uh, drop thrust. I think it's a little too hot. Show how that might look if you were in regular guard. You can go ahead, just show. A drop thrust from my regular guard, and I'm, I'm gonna co cover up and do the full thing and then uncover again. It just, you drop the tip as you're going forward, push it into your opponent's bar grill, and then come back to your neutral position. I've heard about the and since Sir Marcus has already yeah. elaborated on everything from boxing mechanics, I don't think I really need to drill that too much. Maybe uh, you could just talk very briefly about some of your footwork. Okay. Um, so some of the footwork that I use is, again, pulled, pulled straight from boxing. I prefer to take small, quick steps as opposed to uh, larger, fast steps. Um, and always with the the foot that's leading in the direction of travel. So with my shield foot forward, I, if I'm moving forward, I'm gonna pick that foot up and put it down and then gather the back foot to me. Yeah. Moving backwards, the back foot gets picked up, fall in that direction and gather the front foot towards me. Maybe show how that looks with your guard. So with, with the guard, and then to left to right, it's the same thing, use the outside foot first. So my, my right foot picks up, my left foot drags following it. And then the opposite, going back to the left. Again, small, quick steps allow, also will allow you to change direction quickly. So if you're engaging an opponent and you're trying to work them over to one side, you can then switch feet, changing direction really, really quickly. Yeah. One word of advice for a new lefty. Yeah. Something that you've discovered that's really useful. So one word of advice for a new lefty is get comfortable fighting with either foot forward. Whether it be your shield foot or your sword foot. And as I just demonstrated in that last pass, if I'm working over to one side, I can take that back foot, it becomes my front foot, and I can still attack from there. I'm comfortable with both feet being forward. 